G'day knuckleheads, Uncle Knackers here. Hey, I was watching a Steve Ramsey video the other day and he was making a project out of scrap wood. And I thought, what a great idea. I've got truckloads of the stuff. Exhibit A, B and C. So with all that scrap and since it's Christmas time, it'd be a great idea to make a really simple Christmas tree. So first up, we need to build a crate for the base of the tree. So there's the base of the Christmas tree all done and I reckon it looks pretty good. Now all I need to do is put a block of 4x4 into the bottom of that Christmas tree base or crate and that's what the Christmas tree will go into. Now I'm going to screw this in and not nail it because when Christmas time's finished I want to take that out and use this crate for something else. Now the threaded rod is going to go right through to the bottom of the crate. I don't want the nut to stand proud of the base, so I'm just going to countersink a hole with this spade bit. Now the trunk of my tree is going to be this metal threaded rod. And this is going to go through the centre of this block of 4x4. So I need to drill a hole for that. Now before we start to build the actual Christmas tree, I want to give the Christmas tree base a bit of a sand first. Now for the tree itself, the trunk's going to be made out of this 10mm metal threaded rod. And for the branches, I've just cut those out of old fence palings. And the longest length starts off at 320mm, which is about 13 inches, and goes down in increments of 2 inches right to the very end and there are eight branches for each level. Now the width of the actual branch starts off at two inches and every second lot drops down by a quarter of an inch. Now with your branches you'll need to cut a hole in the end for the trunk to go through. Now this is a really good tip. To prevent that from happening because the hole is too close to the end Get your length of wood or length of timber and drill the holes in it first and then cut your branches to length. So now we're ready to assemble the Christmas tree and the first thing we need to do is to secure the trunk to the base. It's now time to start putting the tree together and I'm starting off with these little square blocks that I've made. I've got four of these, I'll put these on first and then I'll start laying down the branches. Now to keep it all tight and stop the branches from moving around, I'm going to tie it all down with a nut and washer. Okay. 
Now to finish the tree off, I've just got an old block that I've cut a shape into with a hole drilled in it and that goes on top like that. Now there's one more thing to do to finish it off and that's to give it some branding. Well that didn't turn out too bad. I'll wait till that dries, give it a bit of a sand, then I think we're ready for decorating. And now just add a bit of colour, a bit of shading to the crate to make it a bit more authentic. And now we'll finish off the crate with a couple of coats of satin varnish. So there it is, my Christmas tree made from old scrap wood. I like it. Great tip, knackers! Well, I hope you liked that video, and if you did, please give it the old thumbs up. And while I'm here, I'd like to thank each and every one of you who have watched, liked, or commented on any of my videos throughout the year. It's been much appreciated. Well, my time for 2014 is up. So have a safe and Merry Christmas to you all. And until 2015, I'm out of here. Cheers. I'm back just for a sec. I forgot to mention how easy these things are to pack away. Just fold it up. Folds nice and flat. Like that. ready to be stacked away for next Christmas. See ya.